Hello and welcome to the Kufi Weekly and we are in our nation's capital, Washington DC for the historic March with Israel. We have seen a spike in anti-Semitism all over our country. We have seen people tearing down American flags in New York City on Veterans Day. We have seen the demonization of Israel and the Jewish people happening all over our country. Marches, rallies, celebrating and praising Hamas. But today is when the pro-Israel people in America make their voice heard and Kufi is here. We are here to stand with the Jewish people. We are here to stand with Israel to show that America has will and always will stand with the state of Israel. It is so important that this event is happening because we have seen a flood of comments, of actions, which have given the perception that America has abandoned Israel, that somehow Israel is in the wrong, that Israel for defending its citizens, for Israel for wanting its kidnapped hostages returned, is somehow doing something wrong, that Israel fighting a terrorist group, a genocidal terrorist group, is somehow fighting some sort of immoral war. This war has never been about the people of Gaza, it's been about Hamas. It's been about a terrorist group whose charter calls for the annihilation of not only Israel, but every single Jew in the world. And that's why this event is so important. It is a loud shout to the world that America stands with Israel. And we will join thousands of people from all over the country, some coming from even further afield, to show that Israel and the Jewish people, you are not alone. The U.S.-Israel relationship is not just a democratic or republican value. It's not just a progressive or conservative value. It is an American value encoded in our national DNA. Hamas terrorists wage the bloodiest assault on Jewish lives since the Holocaust, and there are hundreds of hostages, many of them Americans, still stuck inside Gaza. Israel will cease their counteroffensive when Hamas ceases to be a threat to the Jewish state. God bless Israel as she rightly defends herself against Hamas's brutal attacks. Israel, the United States, will always have your back. We will pray for the success of the IDF in a war Israel did not start and did not want, but a war Israel will win because we must. Those of us standing here and millions of other Christians were not here during the Holocaust, but we're here now and we stand shoulder to shoulder with the Jewish people. We must all stand united with one voice and boldly declare over and over, Israel, you are not alone today, tomorrow, and forever. If a line has to be drawn, then draw that line around both Christians and Jews. We are one. We are one. We are one! Thank you so much for viewing this week's episode. If you are here, thank you. As Pastor Hagee always says, love is not what you say, it's what you do. And thousands showed that their love for Israel and the Jewish people by being here physically with their feet. And if you weren't here, this should be a wake-up call. You have to speak up. You cannot remain silent because this is that moment. This is that 1930 moment that we've always talked about. What would you do in 1930? You're doing it right now. So if you're not speaking up, if you're afraid, be emboldened because we are not given a spirit of fear. We are given a spirit of courage. Be strong. And until next week, for Zion's sake, do not remain silent. Thanks for checking out this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe so you get a notification every time a new episode hits. And if you want to check out some of our previous episodes, and we've got some really good ones, Click on one of the thumbnails and that will take you right there. And finally, if you want to know more about Kufi and the work we do, go to kufi.org to check out all the resources we have available free to you.